Imagine this. The calm sea, a merchant ship sailing peacefully, and then, out of nowhere, a pirate flag appears on the horizon. Suddenly, an eerie quiet descends. The merchant crew's hearts pound in their chests as they scramble to prepare for the impending assault. On the pirate ship, the air crackles with anticipation. Orders are barked out, weapons are readied, and eyes gleam with the promise of plunder. The pirate captain, a figure of commanding presence and unfathomable cunning, takes the helm. His eyes, as sharp as the edge of his cutlass, study the merchant vessel, a prey unaware of the predator lurking in the shadows. His loyal subordinates, each a seasoned mariner and a ruthless fighter, stand at the ready, a symphony of controlled chaos. With a nod from their captain, the attack begins. Like a storm unleashed, the pirates descend upon the merchant ship, their battle cries echoing over the open sea. Their tactics, honed through countless raids, are a deadly dance of steel and fire. They strike with an efficiency that's as terrifying as it is awe-inspiring. The merchant crew, though brave and resolute, are no match for the ferocity of the pirates. One by one they fall, their resistance crumbling under the relentless onslaught. The pirates, driven by a thirst for riches and the thrill of the hunt, show no mercy. As the last vestiges of resistance are quelled, the pirate captain strides across the deck of the conquered ship. His gaze sweeps over the spoils of their raid, chests of gold, barrels of rum and precious artifacts from far-off lands. A triumphant grin spreads across his weathered face. Back on their ship, the pirates revel in the afterglow of victory. Goblets are raised, songs are sung and tales of bravery are shared. The air is thick with camaraderie and the sweet scent of success. Yet beneath the merriment, there's an undercurrent of tension. For in this world of piracy, wealth and power are as fleeting as a summer's breeze. With the merchant ship seized, the pirates celebrate their victory, but this is just the beginning of their journey. As the merchant ship fades into the distance, we are now aboard the pirate ship, a world ruled by its own laws and customs. In this world, the day begins at dawn with the crowing of the ship's rooster. Pirates rise from their hammocks, rubbing sleep from their eyes, ready to embrace the routine of life at sea. The air fills with the aroma of salt, tar, and the simmering breakfast stew. The ship's cook, a former merchant sailor turned pirate, ladles out portions of hardtack and salted meat, a meager meal, but one that fuels the crew for the tasks ahead. Life aboard a pirate ship isn't for the faint of heart. It's a world of contrasts, where camaraderie is as abundant as the hardships. The ship is a microcosm of its own, with its own set of rules and customs. The captain, a figure of authority and respect, commands with an iron fist, Yet decisions are often made democratically, with the crew's input valued and considered. Every pirate has a job to do. Some check and repair the sails and ropes, others scrub the decks or man the cannons, but all work together, their survival dependent on their collective effort. The ship becomes their home, their refuge, their fortress. Yet the sea is a fickle mistress. Storms roll in without warning, turning the placid ocean into a raging beast. Food and fresh water are always in short supply, and diseases like scurvy are constant companions. But amidst these challenges, there's laughter, song, and tales of daring exploits shared over a shared jug of rum. Despite these hardships, there's an undeniable allure to the pirate life, the freedom of the open sea, the thrill of the chase, the shared victories, and the bonds formed in adversity. These are the ties that bind these outlaws together. They revel in the camaraderie, the shared experiences, the tales of daring and adventure, and the promise of treasure that might be just over the next horizon. Despite the hardships, the pirate life carries an undeniable charm. The freedom of the sea, the thrill of the hunt, the companionship of fellow outlaws. The life of a pirate isn't just about raids and battles, it's also about the pursuit of treasures, the stuff of legends. There is something alluring about the unknown, about the promise of wealth that lies hidden, just out of reach. That's what draws these pirates, these seekers of fortune, to the sea. A map, aged and yellowed, a clue, a promise of riches untold. It's not just the gold they seek, but the thrill of the chase, the exhilaration of discovery, the glory of conquest. The captain, a man seasoned by the harshness of the sea and the bitterness of battles lost and won, holds the map aloft. It's more than just parchment and ink. 
It's a beacon, a siren song luring them towards the unseen, the unclaimed, the undreamt of. His eyes, hardened by years of navigating treacherous waters, are lit with an unquenchable fire. He is a man on a mission, driven by a thirst for adventure that no amount of rum can quench. The crew, a motley bunch of ruffians, each with their own stories to tell, gather around. Their eyes gleam with anticipation, their hearts throb with excitement. They are united, not just by the prospect of wealth, but by the shared thrill of the quest. The danger, the uncertainty, the promise of the adventure binds them closer than any chain ever could. But the sea is a fickle mistress, her moods as changeable as the winds. And somewhere out there another crew, another captain, eyes the same prize. A rivalry brews, a storm of conflict as unpredictable and dangerous as the sea herself. The tension is palpable, a live wire sizzling with potential energy, ready to explode at the slightest spark. As the sun sets, the pirates set their course, their hearts filled with dreams of gold and glory. The quest for treasure is more than just a journey. It's a test of courage, of camaraderie, of the indomitable human spirit. And as the horizon swallows the setting sun, one can't help but wonder what lies beyond. What awaits our brave adventurers on this perilous quest? Only time will tell. But their quest isn't without peril. Their rivals won't give up the treasure without a fight. The high seas transform into a battlefield, a clash not just of steel and gunpowder, but of wits and wills. The pirates, our anti-heroes of the ocean, are locked in a fierce battle against their rivals, a dance of death and glory on the rolling waves. The pirate captain, a man of grit and daring, carves a path through the chaos, his cutlass flashing in the sun. He is a storm made flesh, a force of nature that refuses to be denied. His subordinates rally around him, their loyalty unwavering even in the face of death. They are not just a crew, they are a family bound by blood and salt water. But the battle is far from one-sided. Their rivals are just as tenacious, just as desperate. They fight with everything they have for the treasure, for survival. The clash of steel rings out over the roar of the sea, a symphony of violence and valour. Yet amidst the chaos and carnage, there are moments of unexpected heroism. A young pirate throws himself into the line of fire to save a comrade. A grizzled veteran fights off three rivals with a broken sword. These are not just thieves and murderers. They are men and women with their own stories, their own dreams, their own reasons to fight. The battle rages on, neither side giving an inch. The decks are slick with blood and seawater, the air thick with gunpowder smoke. But through it all, the pirates fight on, their spirits unbroken. They know the risks, they know the cost, but they also know the prize, and they are willing to pay the price. As the smoke clears, the victorious pirates cheer. But victory comes at a price. As our journey comes to an end, it's time to reflect on the legacy of these sea outlaws. Pirates, rogues of the sea, often painted with a broad brush of villainy and lawlessness. Yet their legacy is far more nuanced than tales of treasure and terror would have us believe. The pirate life was not just about plundering and pillaging. It was a life of freedom, a life outside the rigid confines of society. These sea outlaws lived by their own rules, creating a democratic order where every man had a say, a stark contrast to the monarchies of their time. The main characters we've journeyed with, the pirate captain and his loyal crew, encapsulate this spirit. They've faced storms and starvation, fought enemies and each other, all in the pursuit of a life unbound by the rules of land. Their treasure was not just gold and jewels, but the thrill of the chase, the camaraderie of their crew, and the endless expanse of the sea. They were survivors, navigating not only the treacherous oceans, but also the vicissitudes of life. Their stories, filled with daring adventures and near-death experiences, speak volumes of their resilience and courage. They were not just thieves and murderers, but men who dared to defy the norms, men who chose a life of danger and uncertainty over servitude and security. Yet let's not romanticize them completely. They were outlaws, after all. Their quest for freedom often came at a high cost, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Their legacy, therefore, is a complex one. A blend of freedom and fear, adventure and anarchy. So as we sail away from the world of pirates, we are left with a sense of awe and respect. For theirs is a tale not just of plunder and peril, but also of bravery, camaraderie and the relentless pursuit of freedom.